Okay, everybody, we're at the end of the class. You made it, and nobody fell out, okay? So I hope we was able to give you a lot of wealth of information um, related to the uh, class. Um, it's just time now for anybody have any questions that they want to ask or anything. If you want to shout out, if you're a nonprofit, who your nonprofit is, and the emails, and people can donate to you. You can do that also. Now is your floor. Okay, my question is. And please identify where you're from. Uh, I'm from Pensacola, Florida. And my question is do you have to have a full staff in order to run a 401c? I mean, 501c. 501C. Yeah. yeah. Most nonprofits start with one person. Okay. <laughs> when I started my nonprofit, and most nonprofits start with one person. Okay. And, and then you build up the staff. But first, you uh, pretty much be doing everything on your own. Okay, good. And then you're going to put what you're showing people, this is what I can do on my own and match what I can do if I get funded. Okay. They always want to check you out to see yeah. if you're serious about it. So, yeah, one person, you don't have to be full time. You can be doing like five hours see, a week. A minute. I, know, I know this one uh, nonprofit that offers um, glasses prescription glasses to people. And I think they only do theirs like one day out of the week. And yeah. it's every week. Yeah. But and they're I probably think doing a, some other things beside that. That's just one of their programs. Yeah, I think it's a husband and wife team though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. people part-time, full-time, it depends on what you want to do. Okay, so if What type I, of non-profit did you want to get started? Well, I want to be a 501c3. Of what course. type? Are you, uh, Nonprofit. Yeah, but what type? You want to have a youth program? Who's your audience? Who do you want to help? Well, my thing is um, single parents. Okay, there you go. Single hey, that's a nonprofit by itself, right there. Yeah. Hey, that's enough right there. Okay. I want to help single parents, and I also want to help uh, young mothers. Good. We can, again, we can um, um, definitely uh, partner with you to make that uh, nonprofit happen. When we work with nonprofit, we create what's known as best practice, um, uh, best practice type of non nonprofit that are data driven and are evidence based. So they position mm -hmm. themselves in order to get the dollars necessary. Next up. Mm -hmm. Who's next? Anybody next? Um, okay. Did you did you want us to say something or? Yeah, shout out who you are, what you want to do. This is your time. The world is looking at you. Okay, <laughs> Michael, I am the parent of two special needs children. They are right now sixteen and fourteen. Right? Since they and um, even though they're sixteen and fourteen, they are mentally toddlers. Right? <laughs> you know, and um. They don't have a place to go before school or after school. They're lacking many programs for these kids because most daycares, they stop at middle school, 11 years old, 12 years old. There's no place for my kids to go in the morning or in the afternoon. There are a few places they go, but they've charged like $400, $500 yeah. a month. I have two of them. So yeah. that's like $1,000 a month for my kids to go to this place. So I, our bills. Uh, yeah, that's um, too much okay. money. So I would like to start a before and yeah. after school place where yeah. people, for kids um, like mine can go, but it's also affordable for the parents won't be breaking the, breaking the bank. And it's hard to find work yeah. because you gotta have some place for your kids to go. You know, most nonprofits start for the right reason that you're expressing, because they see a gap. And that's why they start that nonprofit to fill that gap. That's mm -hmm. what you call, remember we talked about it earlier? That's called your purpose. You found your purpose. <laughs> next, anybody up? Who's up next? Well, this is Dorothy. I um, I have a nonprofit. Dorothy, um, where you at? Tampa? Oh, yeah, I'm in Tampa, Hillsborough but, County. Yes. Um, I started my nonprofit in 2018, of course, on my own uh, while working a full-time job. I'm still working. 
Uh, but my my wishes are to stop working, you know, and and basically run my organization permanently um, and uh, full time. But we need to talk. We definitely need to talk. Yeah. The thing is, my thing is um, that I do need funding because I receive calls every week. Uh, my organization is kind of similar to what um mrs hill wants to do um because my organization works with a uh, single female headed um you know mothers who, who are you know now, uh, what's the name of your nonprofit? it's called rose of sharon women's empowerment center okay good and well yeah we definitely have, we can have some follow-up conversations yeah yeah because i my thing is the funding part because I need housing for the women who calls me. Right. I feel so, so bad, you know, that I have to refer them out to other, you know, organizations because I don't have the funding to buy, you know, or to purchase a home uh, or multiple homes to house these women. Well, after the day, your attitude should be yet. I'm sorry? Your attitude should be don't have the, don't say you don't have the fun. Say I don't have the fun yet. That oh yeah, I, I do. That's I do. The I tell them I don't have them yet. That I'm I'm working on it. And you're in the right place. This is what you came in for class for. Yeah. Hey, Ivy. Um, Ivy, I know you with the church. Tell us some programs that the church uh, has going on. Hi. Uh and, 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 and recognize who's your church. Our church is in Tampa, Florida. Our, our nonprofit is affiliated with the First Missionary Baptist Church of Holland Pines. Okay. Which is located in the Holland Pines neighborhood. Okay. And our church has been there for 25 years. Okay. And the nonprofit is tied, is named uh, the Holland Pines Health Center Incorporated. So our mission is to focus on the homeless, since there are several homeless in the area, as well as the youth at Oak Park Elementary, which is right around the corner from our church. Excellent. So we, we definitely like to work with y'all putting together a master plan to get funding for all those programs that you um that you are uh, talked about. So definitely, everybody, you're in the right place at the right time. Priscilla. Priscilla, am I pronouncing her name right? Yes. Yes, who are you and what are you, what are you trying to do? <laughs> Uh, my name is Priscilla Hawthorne. Um, I live in Polk County, and I am okay. just in this, yes, Grady Jarrett. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm just in the startup phases. So I'm learning a lot. If I have just uh, got registered and everything, and just getting my board established, but I'm primarily going to be um, starting off focusing on seniors, <laughs> um, ass assisting them with uh, food insecurities. <laughs> And um, children, you know, with maybe introducing them to the arts and, you know, stuff in this area. Excellent. I tell you, um, I'm so appreciative of everybody that attended this class tonight. <laughs> but here's what I find consistently with most of the classes that I give related to nonprofits. Almost 90% of the participants are females. You know. What the males have to understand is that they have to step up to the plate. Nonprofits is the way to change things. If the sisters are stepping up to the plate, if females are stepping up to the plate, if mothers are stepping up to the plate, this goes out to the men. You have to step up to the plate. So I take my hat off to each of you, and I'm looking forward to working with each of you to build you to that full capacity for where you need to be at. Like I say, dreams do come true. We had a nonprofit out of Pennsylvania. She started her nonprofit. In the year three, she was bringing in $1.5 million. And it's not impossible to do something like that once you have an understanding of the market. Always go to an area where you say nothing is here like this, so you can make yourself unique. Why are you unique? And that's that's just one. I know nonprofits that are kicking in uh, 200,000, 300, 
400000 to be quite candid, if you're going to run a nonprofit successfully, at the very least, you should be bringing in at least $200,000 at a minimum. That's why we work with nonprofits to build them to capacity so it can be bringing in 250 to a million. Because guess what, folks? You might think that's a lot of money. It really isn't. Because that's what that goes into salaries and everything. So any questions before we uh, end the night's presentation? I have one more question. Go ahead. Ask away. And um, I want to know, once you start that um, nonprofit, how do you pay yourself out of it? Well, um, when we talked about the section on the method section, the method section, the uh, program design, that's where you put your salary at in your budget. Okay. So when you go to do your budget, you put in executive director, 50,000, 60,000, whatever, secretary, okay. janitor. So, so Michael, what do you think we should, as you know, as brand new nonprofits, how much do you think I should pay myself? Like, you know. Well, I think that as a new nonprofit, 60,000 would be somewhere where you start out at. Oh, okay. That's not yeah. too bad. That's way, way more than what I'm making now. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's between 35 and 65. And we're talking about, that's what we're talking about within 18 months. You build yourself up to that capacity. Oh, and again, okay. it's all based on all those documents that we come, we talk about. When you come prepared with a theory of change, a logic model, a business plan, a strategic plan, people are going to take you seriously. And they're going to give you the serious money. Most nonprofits, even the ones that's been around a long time, they don't have those tools. So, unless somebody else has another question, we're going to end the night's class. I, do. I have a question. Go ahead. Don't want it. Okay. Go well, ahead. somebody else wanted to speak? Uh, I did, but you can go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, Michael, I was just looking back at uh, or thinking back at uh, what you were mentioning about your services and the prices. Now, I I do have, you know, most of the, the things that you have here, um, you know, like articles of corporation and things like that, uh, 50, um, the, the tax exempt status and the uh, solicitation license and all that stuff. But I uh, some of the things that I may not have so I'm wondering, will you charge me the whole 300 or would it be? No, if you got everything related to the nonprofit, you're good to go. You want to come over to the training side now to get oh. training for your board of directors. Well, I have, a board, I have a board of five, it's a total of uh, six of us. Yeah, but see, every year your board must be certified by a professional organization to show that you got board training. That's uh -huh. another thing. Nonprofit, even your staff, every year they have to have training. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's okay. why I said what I'll send you is the whole scope of services that we have. Okay. If you got your 501 in place, then we should start talking about your strategic plan. Okay. Yeah, and that's going to go towards your operational plan. So you can start with working now towards funding. Okay. And then I want to look at your articles and make sure you got all the things in there. And when I right. say that, so you can file your articles in cooperation with the state. They don't care. They say as long as it's legal. When I mm -hmm. do it, I do not only for the legal aspect of it, but for the funder who's going to be mm -hmm. looking at that article of incorporation. Because mm -hmm. they're going to go past the legal stuff and they're going to go to the substance of the mm -hmm. non -violence. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, my question was, uh, once this is over, you will um, email me the rest of the um, slides? I yeah, I'll, I'll send like... you the presentation. Okay. Or to make sure if you haven't heard from me in a couple of days, email me. If what... y'all register for this class, y'all all have my email in order to register for the class. Okay. Are you going to send it to all of us? Yes. If you send me the email, request me. 
Well, when we register, it should have sent you the email. Sent yeah, you but email. that's you want. Look, I normally charge for the presentation. I'm saying I'm giving it to you free if you email and request it. Uh huh. I'll give it to you free. Okay. This is a lot of information you need that. Okay. And you have a question. Oh, one more thing. Okay, if I wanted to run a business also with that, um, with that um, 501c3, is there certain steps I have to take first for that? Oh, yeah. Or? Yeah, okay. The first thing you need to do is to start, the, you will come back to us to ask us to work with you and put together a business plan. Mm -hmm. Once that it, business plan takes and gets its legs, that's when you actually start your business. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that's the difference between a subscription plan and a business plan. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other question? That's it. Okay. I can't believe this. <laughs> We're out of here. We <laughs> had like six more minutes to go. So I want to thank everybody for the night's class, for attending the night's class. And email me so I can send you information on the presentation and the other services that we provide. Thanks again, oh, everybody. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. All right.